because this is the filming locations for the movie, I Am Wrath, filmed right here in Columbus. I'm gonna take you to some of the locations that was filmed around here. I hope you enjoy because I really like this movie. It was a dark John Travolta movie. Really liked it and I found the locations and I'm really excited to do this. So in the beginning of the movie, he flies home, you see the airport of Columbus and then he comes home, things happen to his wife. And this is his home in the movie. This is where we're gonna start at, the first location. People actually live in this house, all right? This is in Bexley, Ohio, just down the road from Columbus. Now, the interior shots were filmed in here and there were some scenes shot out here on this road too. And I'm gonna to explain to you what was filmed here. And I hope you enjoy this video because this is gonna be a good one. All right, let's get into it. So yeah, this was Stanley's home in the movie. This is where John Travolta's character would have lived and his wife would have lived, but unfortunately she met her untimely demise towards the beginning of the movie, which triggers the entire thing. John Travolta goes nuts, it's awesome. So after Stanley talks to his daughter inside the diner, she wants to come get her mother's things out of this house. And in doing so, something terrible happens to his daughter and her husband. They're bringing things out of the front door, putting things in a car. And uh, Charlie, who Travolta is after the entire movie, comes barreling down this road and does a drive-by of them in the car and they wreck into that tree the tree is still there that's awesome and uh, yeah they wreck into the tree and then Charlie speeds off and then as soon as Charlie speeds off out of the scene Stanley Travolta's character comes and stops and starts hugging her and he's she's like he's like I'm not gonna let anything happen to you and she's like well you just did what's all this stuff on the counter and all that stuff he's got like papers and bullets and magazine clips sitting on his counter and that's why she freaks out and when she's putting stuff in the car her husband asks she's like are you okay and she's like no I'm not okay I'll explain on the way and then that's when the drive-by happens they wreck into the tree. Yeah, right here on this road. This is awesome. Woo! I can't believe that they filmed that right here and the interior shots. All right, that's just one location down. I have plenty more to go. And I'm not gonna do these in any particular order, but I will explain what happened in the scene and what happened at the location. So are you ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Let's go. All right, so here we are at yet another location. This is where we are introduced to the character Dennis. Dennis is Stanley's old partner in his former life. What's funny is this barber shop right here is where uh, Dennis works. And then in, uh, in the movie you see Stanley get out of his car. There used to be a building here and clearly is gone but Stanley gets out of his car you can see the uh, corner of the barber shop there and Stanley goes in gets himself a clean shave and he talks to Dennis about trying to get back into his past life he wants to get back into it and uh, he says like well you only want vengeance because of what happened to your wife blah 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 yeah filmed right inside that barber shop it's closed I can't get in really wish I could because I really like those scenes filmed in there but uh, I'm gonna go a bit closer and show you guys all right 
how cool is this? This is probably one of my favorite locations I've found so far for this movie. Yeah. Right inside this barber shop. The old familiar barber shop. Walk-ins welcome. He wants to go get a clean shave. So to add on to this location, there was another scene filmed here where uh, Charlie and his goons come to meet up with uh, Dennis and pay him a little visit because he finds out that Stanley is after him. And uh, Dennis fights off two guys, including Charlie. And unfortunately, Charlie gets away and Dennis gets a uh, baseball bat broken over his shin right side there it's awesome all right another location down another one to go let's do this all right i'm in short north as we call it in columbus and in the movie stanley goes looking for charlie and we see him drive all up and down short north looking for him because we can see these little archways in the movie as he's driving through. Now, I originally wasn't going to do this location because I saw that there was a lot of traffic going on, and I've never really been to this part of the town, so I didn't know how it was, but I'm going to take you to the tattoo shop. Yes, the infamous tattoo shop where Stanley gets his I Am Wrath tattoo. And I'm going to try and find it, and I'll show you guys. This is crazy. All right, so I found the tattoo shop, which in the movie was a stained skin, which has now been converted to a nail salon, is right there. Inside of this shop is where Stanley gets his I Am Wrath tattoo on his back with the big cross, and uh, he ends up fighting the guy, killing him. Then he steals a bag full of money and drugs. But yeah. I can't get in. It's a uh, it's a nail salon, but uh, yeah, I just figured I was in the area and I would stop by and show you guys really quick that it was filmed right here. And what's crazy is it moved the stain skid moved from there to down there on this side of the street because I looked up the address and the address is on that side of the street. But it's been a couple years since they filmed it, so I'm assuming they just moved across the street. But still cool though, nonetheless. I really like that scene. He gets up, you see the tattoo, and then his shirt just drops and it says, I am Wrath. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, right there. I dig it. All right, so that's where the tattoo shop was. On to another location. Let's go. All right, another location for I am Wrath. Right here is the State House of Columbus. I'm downtown Columbus, and the scene that was filmed here was right at the beginning of the movie. We're showing all the clips of like the news reports of shootings and all that crap going on. We see the governor and Stanley's wife come out of those doors right there, and he walks about halfway down the steps, and he gives a speech about how he wants to reduce crime and how the crime rate has started to reduce. And there's a whole crowd right in front of him, paparazzi, taking pictures, videos, all that stuff. Right here in front of this uh, courthouse, state house. All right, so this is another scene that was filmed here. It's Sunday, so I got to park for free. So I'm kind of walking around, trying to get some other stuff done. So this is just one of them. I'm on to the next one. Let's go. So this scene in the movie I found rather interesting. This is at Buckeye Donuts in Columbus. The scene they filmed here is Stanley and Dennis are in the car and they're parked 
right about there. I'll show you here in just a second. But uh, let me explain this scene a little bit. They're sitting in the car and uh, Stanley gets his information about Charlie's whereabouts and Dennis tells Stanley that he's gonna need backup if he goes in back to his old life. And he's like, no, I can do this by myself. I don't need your help. Blah, blah, blah. That scene was filmed here. I'll show you the exact parking spot where they filmed that. All right, another location. This is great. So Dennis walks out of the door right there and he's got a couple drinks in his hand, one for himself and one for uh, Stanley. He walks across the little patio right here, across the sidewalk. There's three parking spots right here, one, two, three. And it's kind of cutting close right there with the uh, drive through yeah, he hands him his drink, and they start talking about getting back in the game and going after Charlie. And he's got all of his information right there in the folders. And all that good stuff was filmed right here at Buckeye Donuts. How cool is this? So that's another location down. Are you guys having fun yet? I am. I'm loving this filming locations video. I hope you are. All right, we got one more to go. I hope you're excited. Cause I am. Let's do this. Alright, this is the last location for the movie, I Am Wrath. This building behind me is the church that they used in the movie. This is where, towards the beginning of the movie, they bring his wife that's in the casket inside of there. And then uh, later on in the movie, after he goes back to his old life, he comes here and he confesses to the priest, confesses his sins. All of those scenes were filmed inside of this church. It's a beautiful church. It's like old, historic looking. I think it looks awesome. Let's see if I can match up the exact uh, video from the movie. So in the movie, the camera pans down and we see this shot right here. How cool is this? All right, so I'm gonna end things here with the filming locations for the movie I Am Wrath. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, it was a great movie. It was good seeing the dark side of John Travolta. Did a phenomenal job in this movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this filming locations video. I did. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you guys on the next one. And take care. Go watch this movie. I recommend it. Alright? Peace.